Today we're going to calculate the electron affinity of carbon. So, the electron affinity of carbon is found by subtracting the energy of carbon as an anion from the energy of carbon in the ground state. And in order to calculate these energies for carbon in the ground state and carbon as an anion, we're going to use Gaussian view. So you're going to click on Gaussian view 5.0 on your desktop. Exit out of the tip. Keep this gray screen. Click on 6C and click C for carbon and then carbon atom. Click on the gray screen to launch your carbon and go to calculate Gaussian calculation setup. Job type energy, method, ground state, DFT, default spin, B3LYP, 6311G, plus plus, D, and P. So for electron affinity, we're going to need the ground state of carbon and the anion. So I'm going to calculate the anion first. And for the anion in a ground state carbon, there would be three unpaired electrons. So, and the charge of an anion would be negative one. And so with three unpaired electrons, you add one to get the multiplicity, which unpaired electrons plus one is going to be your multiplicity for any atom. And so three plus one is a quartet and that did not show up on the window so we're going to have to go and edit it this can happen sometimes with Gaussian so you click edit and save so I'm going to name this uh, anion carbon and so GJF file save. This is going to open WordPad if you have that set up on your desktop. And you're going to go to where it says two. And we don't want to double it, we want a quartet. So you're going to enter four there. And save. Exit. And say OK to submit. Going to run the program. Yes, you want to close the Gaussian window. You say OK for the CHK file, and that will launch your carbon anion. So you go to results, results, and summary. And you can see the total energy of the carbon anion right here, and it's going to be an atomic unit. So that is the calculation for the anion. So now we're going to open Gaussian view again for calculating carbon in the ground state. Close this tips window. Click carbon on the element fragment. C. C atom. Click on the gray screen. So you're going to go to Gaussian calculation setup. Job type energy, method, ground state, DFT, default spin, B3, LYP, 6311G, plus plus, D, P, and it's going to be in the ground state, so the charge is zero, and there's two unpaired electrons for carbon in the ground state, so the multiplicity is number of unpaired electrons plus one, so it's going to be two plus one, which is a triplet, and then we are going to submit that and save. I'm going to name this carbon ground state, and save. And OK. 
that will launch a program. Close the Gaussian window and say OK for the CHK. It's going to launch your carbon in the ground state and you go to results summary and the total energy for carbon in the ground state is found right here and it's going to be in atomic units. So now we have the energy for carbon as an anion and in the um, ground state so we can calculate the electron affinity. So you would take the energy in the ground state and subtract the energy of carbon as an anion and that would give you the value you wanted and in atomic units and you can convert it to whatever units you need. And that concludes our calculations for electron affinity.